Rabbi Hill Yaakovson brings in Al Tech Ta'u page 177, and Rav Yehuda Chayun that Maran Hagaon Harav Moshe Feinstein Zechat Zadik lived from 1895 to 1986. The Paisek Hador Rosh Moetzis Gedali Hatoira and Rosh Hashivas Masifta Tefera to Yerushalayim was asked. Many European refugees arrived on American shores after the Holocaust. They were literally Moisen Nefesh in order to keep Shabbos and paid a heavy price for this, being fired from their jobs week after week. Remarkably, a couple of generations later, most of their children and, ga- and grandchildren willingly gave up Shabbos observance. And we don't find millions of Jews in shawls all over America, as theoretically should be the case. How is this possible? Did their children not see their role models and great sacrifice? Ramesha answered that their Messiris Nefesh was lacking one vital ingredient. Their children heard them express their bitterness and say, it's hard to be a Jew. On Shabbos, they would permeate their homes with an atmosphere of defeat and depression. They would moan and groan throughout Shabbos, worrying that they would have nothing to eat in the coming week. This discouraged their children from continuing the chain. However, the parents who were able to rise to the challenge with superhuman greatness and who could express joy at being able to keep Shabbos despite the tremendous difficulty, were Zoycheh to see their children and grandchildren keeping Shabbos.